Hey guys, uh, exciting times, NXT up times two again since my last video. Um, it's now uh, close to 5,000 Satoshi trying to break that um, and about 30 million uh, US dollars market cap. Um, amazing how things can turn around in crypto. It's only one month ago or three weeks that NXT was at a uh, two-year low of 7 million market cap thousand uh, Satoshi. So times five in um, uh, times four times five in three weeks time. Um, a lot of resistance, a lot of selling has been going on and buying. I'm very impressed by the amount of NXT that has been traded. Uh, four days with 40 million each. Um, um, and then that makes a, a total of 160 million and then pr plus some others and this is just Polonix eh? so probably around 200 million NXT traded the last three weeks um, so so I would roughly estimate that maybe about 50 million NXT or so has switched hands eh? maybe 100 um, and this is what I mean with selling too soon <laughs> Um, okay, it certainly is much better to sell today than when I sold at 1,500 Satoshi. Eh? So we all make mistakes and um, I'm very glad you forgive me. And so will I forgive you for selling right now because this is just the start of a... Of, 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 this is just the start, very likely. There is a very small chance. This is not the start. This is the end. And this is the last time NXT goes up. And from here it goes down and into that, that uh, and dies off. Uh, that's possible too, but the chance is very low. The chance is much higher that NXT, together with all the other cryptos, will go up a lot in the next Bitcoin bubble. And will there be a next Bitcoin bubble? Yes, also very, very likely there will be a next Bitcoin bubble. There's two Bitcoin can die from here on, but this is very hard for Bitcoin to do because the amount of transactions continues to go up. The amount of, and that means that the amount of, even though the transaction fees are going up rapidly also, the amount of transactions continues to go up as well. And you also see that Bitcoin is continuing to spread around the world. People get to know more about Bitcoin. And um, it's unless something dramatic happens, it is only a matter of time that you, we, we will get a new bubble. Uh, and chance is very high. This will be sooner rather than later since Bitcoin has been in a bear market for two years, for certainly one year. It has been recovering now also for one year from a low of 162, now 700 US dollars or 650. Um, so um, this is this takes the longest time for a bear market to play out and then bottom out and then go up to its old all-time high it takes very long. But once it breaks the all-time old old all-time high. It will go very fast. Only in one month time you go to five times, ten times higher than the all-time high. So the chance is very high. We are very soon going, this is very soon going to happen. And altcoins will then also go up versus Bitcoin even on average. Uh, of course, things have changed now. I have to say that in the past it always took for Bitcoin first to go into a bubble before the altcoins continued. But this has been a new phenomenon since 2016 uh, that uh, altcoins have actually taken the lead. Some actually now many have gone up a lot more than Bitcoin. It's in the top 10, 20. It's full of coins that went up versus Bitcoin now. Eh? So this is a new trend that the altcoins have run out of patience and now are actually starting to take the lead. So is it wise to uh, wait with buying altcoins uh, before Bitcoin goes to 1200? Maybe not. Um, 
coins that just have gone up a lot, it is not smart to buy them. But other coins that haven't gone up a lot yet, it is smart to buy them now. Is it smart to sell? Uh, I don't think it's smart to sell anything uh, right now um, because um, yeah, uh, the chances are high we will go 10 times higher. For And this is valid for all the altcoins. Eh? Um, and if you're lucky, you're sitting on an altcoin that goes up not times 10, but times 100 from here. That is possible. Eh? Um, so, or times 50 or, or times 30. Eh? And for NXT, yeah, it's, wow, 5,000 Satoshi now. Eh, that's great. But if you have gone through this bear market, well, this is just the average valuation of the past two years. Eh? Um, it has gone up from zero to 15,000 Satoshi, then down to say five or 7,000 Satoshi, back up to 15,000 Satoshi, or let's say 13,000 each, and then back down from 13,000 to 1,000 Satoshi, and now back up to 5,000 Satoshi. This is an average price. This is a pre-bubble price. This is a price that is just the recovery from the all-time low. And so it is not a great price at all to sell um, but it is of course much better if you are, have con followed if you have been courageous to follow um, um, risk allocation um, strategy risk reward uh, strategies then you have bought more on the low in contrast to me eh? you did buy more around 2000 satoshi and around 1000 satoshi and then of course now your exposure to NXT has gone up a lot and so you uh, you can sell some um, but I would keep it very very light and I did make the mistake to sell on the low so if I wouldn't have done that I could also sell some now because now I would have an enormous exposure of NXT in my portfolio but that's not the case yet because I sold on the low so so I will have to probably sit this one out, um, but I think a, a, an interesting price to sell is around before the all-time high is broken of 13,000, 15,000 Satoshi, around 10,000, 12,000 Satoshi, I think is a good time if you are also heavily exposed to NXT at that time to lighten up the exposure a bit because there is um, a higher chance there that it will turn around. The resistance will likely be a lot more there than around current prices. And so NXT can fail and that's a good time to uh, lighten up a bit. But for that you need to prepare and you, did, you need to have bought on the low or not sold too many on the way up. And then you can do that. Um, otherwise you also will have to sit that one out and pray for a new all-time high, which is, I think, likely for NXT to happen, that we go to past 15,000 Satoshi to 30, 40, 50,000 Satoshi in the next big bubble, in the next big crypto bubble. So that's 10 times higher than where we are now in Bitcoin value, but it is in fiat value a lot higher because we are looking at 3 cents a coin. I remember we were all dreaming of one dollar a coin for NXT in 2014 when the price was around 10 cents a coin twice and we were all dreaming of one dollar instead it went to one cent a coin even below that so now we're back at five cent a coin that's much better than below one cent sorry three cent a coin that's much better than below one cent a coin but three cent a coin is also nothing it could really go to 30 cent a coin and even to one dollar so that's up times 10 in bitcoin value but it could go up times 30 or 40 or 50 in fiat value from here so that's my opinion and I could be completely wrong. Good luck. Bye.